in this. Do not be able to fullness of God within us. We just want to be able to reach your fullness. No, we all have the fullness of God within us, people of God. We have the fullness of God within us. We are full of, we are full of God, and we can always be full of God. Knowing that we are coming in Him, knowing that whenever there is a lack, we will not focus upon the lack, but we look at, 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 at the supplier. Because it is God, it is God supplies me every need. In Christ Jesus, God supplies me every need. When there was a lack, it is always be a supply. You know, you ask me a question, uh, my brother, I am not a rich guy, but when there was a need, my God always supplies me according to His riches in Christ Jesus. But God always applies even whenever, whenever there's a lack. He never keeps me in a lack. He's the God of God, the God of supply. He's the God of supply. Whenever any lack may be, He's always there to supply for me. He's never there for me to keep me in lack of something. He's never there to keep me in lack of something. He's always there for me to supply with everything. With His fullness. With everything of God. You know, you know the Word of God says that, you know, let's go to some uh, much further verses. In the book of Ephesians, let's go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 3. We'll, I think we'll go from a former word, 14 onwards. It says, For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strength with might by the spirit in a man God wants us to get fully strengthened by his might in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith the Christ may dwell in everybody's hearts by faith I told you some weeks by faith that by faith only you can, you can believe that the Christ is established in your hearts to only want to do the eyes of faith you can know that Christ is established in your hearts and it says uh, much further that being rooted and grounded in love he said to be rooted and grounded we have to get rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth and the height and, and, to, know, and to know the love of Christ this is and to, and to know the love of Christ this is the key verse he says and to know, and to know the love of Christ it passes, it surpasses every knowledge that you might fill all the fullness of God. And let me say how how, how are people being always being filled with the fullness of God. The word of God says that we shall that we shall know this love, which is surpassing every knowledge. The two times the word know is covered, word knowledge is given. But if we have to know the love which is which is surpassing is not our knowledge. So sometimes we know that our God loves us. How much degree our God loves us? The God of God, we, we, we need to know the love which surpasses every knowledge. In what we, we can think, the, the depth of how much God loves us, we want to have to believe that beyond that depth also, we have to know that God loves us. We have to know that God loves us beyond this depth also. When you know the love of God, and when you know the love of God, you will be supernaturally flowing in the fullness of God. When you, you know when can when you cannot fill uh, fill with his fullness. Only when you lack his love, when you don't, don't have a sense of his love. But when you have a sense of love, you're always getting filled. Always it's the inside, it's, it's an internal feeling. You're not from outside, only it's always inside you. You start to get activated. Just to get activated. You know when you know the love of God is always flowing inside you. When you know his love 24-7, it's like you are full of him. You're full of God. When you know because God is love, when you know the love of God inside you, you are full of Him every time. You are full of Him every time. What of course is that Jesus was full of grace and truth. He was full of grace and truth. In fact, the word of God says, of His fullness, we have received grace upon grace upon grace upon grace. Why I say about grace? Because the Bible says, of His fullness, of His love. When his love comes upon me, I see his fullness, and out of his fullness, I receive grace upon grace, upon grace, upon grace, upon grace. How does, how can a person walk in grace, and I can offer more grace, I can offer more grace, I can offer more grace. Only when he knows the love of God, he's filled with the fullness of God, and what about out of his fullness? Out of his fullness, from his fullness only we know we can walk in grace upon grace, grace upon grace. But out of his fullness only we can receive something called as grace. Out of the fullness of God, out of the fullness of God, we can walk upon grace, upon grace, 
upon grace upon grace upon grace upon grace upon grace and after one of grace when it was love more grace when it was love more grace more 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 so much grace upon your life then until the time when you are full of his grace full life is full of grace no 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 grace is preaching but grace is giving and grace is receiving too no, I, I, I always say, many people only see me, they always preach grace, but when I take grace and I, I give grace. But I know this is one of the elements God wants us to live in too. More way, God of God, out of His fullness, you have to receive grace upon grace upon grace upon grace, out of His fullness. What I call it in the book of Ephesians, be filled with the Holy Spirit. He said, don't be talking with buying with this Ephesians, be filled with the Holy Spirit. What I call it, you see that, the Holy Spirit is going to come upon us one more time. No, no, no. You have to see the Holy Spirit. I'll give an example. What is the word fill like, fill, fill your mess? It means be being kept filled. And you have to be kept filled. Kept to be keep something. Because this word is not, not, not an English word. Uh, when you say something about fill, we, we take a glass. And then, uh, on the other hand, it's an empty glass. We say, let's fill it. But this is not a meaning of that. The meaning of the word fill is, means you are that we have been pressurized by His grace pressure to move along with Him. To move along with His love. That is, that is your word fill. To, be, to walk in His grace pressure. The grace moves us in His, in his direction. This, 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 you know, what is the word here means? You know, I'll give an example. If you take a, if you take a glass of water and, and you mix sugar into it, how sometimes you won't see the sugar. But the reality is, the sugar is inside it. See me in our lives. See, in our lives, you know, you, your life, you know, the Holy Spirit is already inside you. Maybe you, you know it, you don't know it, but He's already inside you. Maybe you feel it, you don't feel it, but He's really inside you. It's always filling you. It's always filling you. Always, always filling you. 